Tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The hook gets hooked with more features in early access. ED gives us more info about what they added for the Chinook. The next major update for the Sinai map is finally ready. And we will soon plan our waypoints with a new tool. This and more on How I Play. This video is sponsored by Moza. Get their new force feedback lineup with our link in the video description. Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Salasti and tonight we are going to talk about the latest news in the ECS world. Sunny August is here and this week could be the week we get to see the Chinook in the DCS skies. As the CH-47F is nearing its early access release, the Sinai map is finally back on the discussion board with that next major update. Meanwhile, here at How I Play, we are having a blast testing the new Moza AB9 force feedback base. Moza finally managed to send to us the unit and we are enjoying DCS in a brand new way. Soaring the skies with style and strong forces that apply pressure, provide liberty when trimming and raise our immersion to 1000. Stay tuned as we are going to showcase this beauty in our next gameplay video with the Apache in Afghanistan and also our upcoming review where we share with you our experience with the AB9 base. But for now, let's get back to the main course in DCS and that is the mighty Chinook. Sit back and enjoy a full detail update on what is to come. We already saw the taxi and takeoff procedures being done in DCS by WAX and now we await for the release in early access knowing that the current development focus is on the flight model and flight control system issues, avionic system development, missions and training. ED reports that they are nearly there and even apologize for the delay of the hook. The what? The Hook Petrovich. The Chinook is also known as the Hook. Eh, uh, interesting. So Jen, please tell me, what do they call the persons operating the Hook? Well, funny you ask, because it's kind of obvious. They are called the Cookers. No, Petrovich. Very bad, Petrovich. But there's no buts. You are on timeout, mister. I do apologize for the rude interruption. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. So, over the last few weeks, ED made significant enhancements to the Chinook, focusing on visual and functional improvements as well as mission updates. They once again provided a nice summary on the recent progress. For visuals, the overhead panels got improvements and fixes, they improved the rotor blade rendering and damage model. The internal views have also been tweaked by hiding unnecessary panels, adding gunner radio panels, improved radio control heads and enhanced animations for buttons, levers and switches. Nice! They also worked on improving the cockpit lightning, adding a fourth level of detail, adjusted heater start button connectors and changed mainboard lightning from white to green. They also enhanced the backlit text, throttle handle connectors, flare maps, power distribution panel lamps animations and transparency of the stick position indicator glass. And we got good news for everyone, as it seems that the night vision goggles have been added. No more worrying about night flying in the Chinook at launch. Nice. But wait, that's not all. Together with the NVGs, the countermeasures and warning system will be present at launch as well. I know many users will be delighted to hear this, as it was one of the most discussed subjects after the post of the early access features for the Shinna. As we always say here at How I Play, more time means a better product for us to experience. Doesn't make it perfect, but it's far more advanced than a rushed release just for the sake of a date. But yet again, all of us deal differently when it comes to more patience. With that being said, you may remember that in our previous video we talked about the upcoming new cargo system. Well, it seems that ED made some further tweaks for this new system, which will allow us to load and unload cargo as an additional functionality to DCS World. Our coders will be delighted. For mission-wise, they added numerous instant action missions across multiple maps, with the additional training missions that cover necessary primary procedures. I always do those first and I consider them a very important step in knowing your module, so this piece of news got me very excited. <laughs> 
Moving on with a very important subject for any module, the flight model and flight control system. For the Chinook, they have refined the automatic flight control system for a very realistic takeoff behavior. Wax told us it was necessary even for their takeoff video to be released and I'm happy to see it in action. They have now a correct forward flight behavior without longitudinal cyclic trim scheduling. Now, at the early axis release, manual pedal input will be required for coordinated turns. Further refinements to the LCT and Digital Advanced Flight Control System will come during the early access period. And last but not the least, for multi-crew, the pilot and co-pilot multi-crew have been further refined, particularly with synchronization of controls and displays. And so I have a feeling we are not very far from the Chinook. Days? Hours? Something tells me that we are going to experience this magnificent piece of technology very soon in DCS world. And I cannot wait to make a review about it. Wink wink. And speaking of reviews, well, the Sinai map is scheduled for one, as we already talked before in a previous video. The project is about to receive a major update as the terrain has received a substantial upgrade with 15 new airfields, new nighttime illuminations, new unique objects such as military installations, oil platforms, improved vegetations and much much more. This long-awaited update introduces over 100 unique objects and architectural monuments, improved CT textures, more realistic textures and enhanced scenes for helipads. CTLD anyone? Oh yeah! Based on the information we have, you can also expect night illuminations for unique objects, the upgraded Giza pyramids, military installations in Egypt and Israel and new bushes and trees for the southern region. Additionally, new oil platforms will be presented. Well, we are looking forward to see all the hard work of the last few months from the talented team at OnreTech. And as they are one of the few third-party developers to support our channel, back in the day when the Sinai map got released, they included us in their preview team, we will continue to support their endeavors and make another review for this amazing map. We cannot wait! In other news, ED informed us that we can expect a new F10 map root tool. This tool will allow us to edit, create and delete waypoints, steer points prior of spawning in our aircraft in both single player and multiplayer. You will also be able to save root presets for each terrain and once a root has been created, you can select it from the preset list prior to spawning. This is a general multiplayer root tool for all DCS aircrafts and it's especially useful for the Flaming Cliffs 2024 aircrafts. And please note that this tool is not related to the upcoming data transfer cartridge functionality, which they will update us at a later date. Well, until then, we wait to see what other things the next major update brings in the CS world. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any important information about DCS World and the world of military flight simulation. I would also like to inform our viewers that later in August, me and Natasha are going to BIAS 2024, or better said, the Bucharest International Air Show for this year. If you want to meet up, we will be there on the 30 to 31st of August in Banyasa Airport. More fans of our show will be there as well as close members from Discord. Join us and let's enjoy an amazing show with a lot of jets, props and helicopters plus many many surprises. I link the event in the video description, it has a free entry for all. Thank you all for watching until the end of our video, many thanks to our patrons that support our channel and remember to check our sponsors VR Rock for your VR blue light protection and prescription lenses, Foxtree Managed Solutions for the best DCS servers out there, the Land Clip for your wireless head tracking experience, Moza Racing with their amazing technology and Pimax for the most quality VR headsets that the market can offer. And subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time!